know you heard. You cut You should have seen by now. Yeah, they talking about it. We coming. They doubting us. But we coming. They think saying. We coming. They think it's a game. We coming. I don't give a damn what they say. You best believe. We coming. And guess what? It ain't hard to find. Ride. What's up? What's good? What's going on? Welcome to the Boar Zone once again. We about to talk a little bit about Coach Prime and what's going on in Colorado, man. Listen, um, Deion Sanders is on fire at Colorado recruiting. Um, the process, this is only the beginning of the process, man. Um, next round is in February. We know a lot of these uh, transfers and a lot of these recruits still have some bowl games um going on so um you know colorado's expected to land the likes of five-star running back trey sanders man out of alabama um this guy sent uh coach prime a twitter uh post saying hey um you got room for me so i expect him man to uh be committing soon and um another big um story also is five-star cornerback cormani mclean this cornerback is uh the number one cornerback in 2023 he decommitted from miami um he's number three overall nationally the number one quarter cornerback nationally and the number one player in the state of florida so people let's get into it man we're going to talk about these um transfers uh that transferred to colorado thus far so first off man um we're gonna go with uh nick Vassett, who is a transfer out of louisville this guy is a three-star punter he's six foot four 210 pounds man um so you know they've got the they've getting their special teams together we got a punter so far um and i think this guy will be a great addition man big guy too um next up we have say do trey or transfer out of arkansas state he is a tight end slash wide receiver this guy is actually a wide receiver man but he's playing tight end he's uh six foot four 210 pounds out of clearwater florida so if you guys see man Dion's getting a lot of players out of florida uh moving on we've got jimmy horn jr listen people when i tell you this guy is a speedster and a barn burner this guy is a top ranked wide receiver out of florida man he's a transfer from the university of south florida he is a four star he's also a kick returner this guy's lightning with breakaway speed he ran track as well he's out of sanford florida and he stands at five foot nine 170 pounds next up we have marshawn nealon out of western michigan transferring he is a edge rusher uh he played some tight end in, in high school as well this guy is strong he's fast he's a three star he's out of grand rapids michigan he is six foot four 275 pounds all right next up we've got a transfer out of jackson state we've got cameron silman he is a safety um he's 5'11, 186 pounds he's out of cedar hill texas uh, and he's a three-star man. This guy is a thumper man. This guy is uh, got very very good um, reading skills man. He knows how to um, read the offense man. And he's just just go look at some footage of this kid man. This kid is um, he's a real deal. Next up, 
this should come as no surprise to all of you and he needs no introduction the number one player in the country overall last year travis hunter uh cornerback wide receiver this guy can play on both sides of the ball he's out of suwanee georgia um he's a five-star player and he's still the number one overall transfer this year six foot six foot one 180 pounds 185 pounds um like i said this kid is who he is man um he is who we know he is next up we've got a transfer out of jackson state as well tyler brown he's an interior offensive lineman and he's six foot three 297 pounds he's a two-star player out of madison missouri i expect this kid he's already got some experience under his belt man this kid can come right in and play next up another player who needs no introduction shador sanders uh the son of coach prime Deion sanders um he is transfers also from jackson state he's a quarterback he's six foot two 200 pounds four-star recruit um i'm telling you man this kid's looking to make a um he's looking to come in man and make some noise man this year man um many people say he he can push for that heisman um it's yet to be seen i know one thing that the skilled players on this team have um put a lot of weapons around him for this colorado offense man and we all know that um they're gonna be running that non-stop offense over here but anyway let's keep moving man next up man we got landon bb uh transferring from missouri state uh he is also an interior offensive lineman and he is six foot three 295 pounds he is a three-star athlete um this guy right here is really good man um they're really doing their homework man with these guys um so Landon BB is going to help that offensive line a whole lot. I, I can't wait to see when this is all said and done, man. When they get those hogs on the defense and the offensive line, we also we all know that the game is one in the trenches. So look for that uh, push uh, in this next round um, of recruiting. So next up, we've got Shannon Colts. Uh, transferring from Dartmouth University defensive lineman he is six foot four 220 pounds he he is also a three-star athlete man expect him to come in and uh make some noise and and help this team out uh you know i like this man the, these defensive linemen and, the, and these edge rushers man you know these guys you know they're strong and they have some quickness they are too big um and you know what's gonna help man people got to realize man that altitude man that that colorado altitude man is gonna help these kids to really really um have an advantage against a lot of other teams when it comes to cardio all right next up we've got savion washington transferring out of kent state this guy's an offensive tackle he is six foot eight 340 pounds this guy is a monster um he's a three-star athlete man and um wow i'm just anxious to see um uh, what this colorado squad looks like when it's all said and done and like i said it's not even close to done man so moving on we've got levante bentley man transfer from clemson a linebacker he is a complete dog people he's six foot 233 pounds when i say dog people i mean a dog go look at some of the uh, footage of this kid man in the film on this kid man and you'll see exactly what i mean he is a four star athlete and um i look for this kid to come in and make an immediate impact uh for this colorado team um and who do we got last on the list we've got taj austin man out of uh transferring out of west virginia the mountaineers 
He is an edge rusher who is six foot three, two hundred and thirty three pounds, and he's a three star edge rusher, man. This guy, um, go look at his film, man. This guy, um, he's gonna be making some noise, man, as well, man. So uh, stay tuned. Um, and also, we've got Alejandro Mata, the kicker, coming over from Jackson State. 5'7", 180 pounds, man. We, if, if you watch the Jackson State games, man, this kid can kick, man. This kid, has he's really short. He's got a complex body, strong leg. Um, and I look for this kid to really come in, man, and, and be able to help this team out, man, on the kick kicking side of the ball and um just just some overall good good prospects and good recruits man coming in from uh on the transfer side of the ball um coming up man we're going to be talking a little bit um more in another video man on the overall recruiting class that um colorado it, it has accumulated thus far but um i just thank you for tuning in man i appreciate you man um please subscribe to the channel there's gonna be more colorado news best believe that i'm a huge fan of coach prime i'm dallas cowboys fan so i've been following coach prime uh, from the beginning man so um i'm excited about his his uh journey over in colorado man and i will be following it closely so tune in man if you guys are interested man uh please subscribe to the channel once again man help the channel grow peace and blessings to all and with that they talking about it we coming they doubt us we coming they think saying we coming they think it's a game we coming i don't give a damn what they say best believe we coming and guess what it ain't hard to find